walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? What? Kicking what? in the door, make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Trust got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Errol Spence is getting tired of these motherfuckers ducking him at 147. You know, ever since Errol Spence came to 147, he started blowing up. These motherfuckers been acting shook. You know, he's making these motherfuckers act different and shit. They ain't acting like they normal self. Kell Brook don't want to fight no more mandatories. He running up the middle way for higher paydays. You know what I'm saying? And getting his face broke. You know, Danny Garcia, he, he don't want to fight Errol Spence. He said he need to work his way up, but he fighting Errol Spence leftovers. Keith Thurman went from being the loudest mouth at 147. Now he ain't got shit to say. You know what I'm saying? He's going into hiding from Sean Porter. You know, and then he went from talking all of that shit to being political as hell. He needs to fight more B-level fighters. He needs to work himself up. I think he's getting too far ahead of himself. I think that you just scared. Yeah. I think that you just afraid of taking that fight because you know that you'll get your ass kicked. How about that? Keith, one time, sometime, run down the street sometimes, you just scared. Don't fuck your body up, break your ribs, make you cry. You're going to hit the flow when you fight Errol Spence. You know it too, don't you? You ain't even been acting all hard, man. You ain't The fight ain't been made yet, bro. You ain't fought Errol Spence yet. Like, the fight ain't signed. Why the fuck is you acting so scared and so different? You know, I mean, I understand, like, when shit is real. Like, when it's official and you got to get in that motherfucker with Errol Spence and you know you about to get your ass whooped, that's when you start acting different. That's when you start acting shook. But nah, once Errol Spence started calling you out, your whole persona changed completely. You ain't been the same ever since then, man. You taking long layoffs, acting different. You being goofy on social media, but you ain't acting tough no more, man. Errol Spence released a statement and he said, it's annoying that Keith Thurman and Danny Garcia keep writing me off. I don't think Keith Thurman had anything to say recently. I put on a better performance than he did against Bundu. If you look at Keith Thurman's face after the fight, he was all bruised up and swollen. If you look at my face after the fight, I went out that same night and hung out with my guys. Errol Spence statement about Keith Runtime Thurman. Why don't you come out and show your face, man? You know what I'm saying? Why don't you just mention Errol Spence in the interview? You know, why don't you say that I'll be looking forward to making that fight after I'm done with Danny Garcia? Because Errol Spence has been Keith Thurman's worst nightmare for quite a while now, even when he was a prospect. Because Errol, Sp I mean, Keith Thurman knew what time it was. He knew. Errol Spence went up in that Mayweather Boxing Club and beat some ass. Knocked out Broner. Heard he bruised up Floyd. And, you know, the rumors got to circulating. Keith Thurman already had knew who Errol Spence was. He just was hoping that Errol Spence would never blow up. And he done blew up. And now Keith Thurman is turning down. Floyd was going to vacate a title to let you fight for it on his undercards. You said no. You know what I'm saying? He was going to probably give you a Floyd payday to fight on that undercard, a.k.a. co-main event. You didn't have to fight on undercard. That's just like the main event. That would have made you a bigger name. He's a great fighter. He needed to work himself up. You turned down all that shit because you was that scared of Errol Spence. Because you know, you know you ain't ready. You know what's going to happen? Keith Thurman is going to go in there and defeat Danny Garcia and become the WBA and WBC welterweight champion of the world. No matter how Errol Spence got to get that fucking IBF belt, he's going to get it. Whether he got to go through Kell Brook to get it or if Kell Brook vacate and then he got to fight, you know, a, a bum to get that belt, he's going to get the belt. You know, how long is Keith Thurman going to fucking run from Errol Spence? We've watched him become a contender. He went from prospect to a contender. Then he's going to become a world champion. Then you're going to have two titles. That's going to be a really big fucking fight for three belts at 147. That's huge. I mean, it was three belts. The last time that three belts was on the line at 147, that was for Mayweather Pacquiao. And I can't even remember the time before that because Floyd been holding on to two of the belts. You know, Pacquiao, Bradley, Jesse Vargas, they all taking turns with the WBO, the top-ranked belt. 
know what the fuck been going on with the IBF belt, man. But we gonna get that shit back, man. You know, Porter had that. And, um, you know, now it's overseas. He had to go to the UK for a little while. And then we gonna bring it back. And we want to see Keith Thurman versus Errol Spence. That's the fight that we want to see. Not this Danny Garcia bullshit. We know you're going to beat him. That's why everybody wants to fight Danny Garcia. Because they know. That's an easy fight. He's a big name and an easy fight. Same reason why everybody wants to fight Amir Khan. Big name, easy fight. High, re high reward, low risk. Keith Thurman going to duck that fight forever, man. And if don't even think, don't even think about becoming Keith Thurman's mandatory. He gonna drop that belt. He's not a big enough draw yet. He's not a big enough name yet. You know what I'm saying? That fight, that's a pay-per-view fight. You know, um, and didn't this motherfucker ask for $10 million to fight Errol Spence? This dude said, yeah, I'll fight him for $10 million. $10 million. That's how you know you scared. You know what I'm saying? This fighter, this prospect at that time was that fucking tough that you need $10 million to make that fight? It sounds like you already knew what time it was. One time? Whose time is it? It's time for you to take a motherfucking L. You knew what time it was. That's why you asked for all that fucking money. You knew you wasn't going to get that shit. Who the fuck going to pay you $10 million? You ain't going to never make $10 million for an L. Smith fight ever. And then your highest payday of your career was $1.5 million. I need $10 million to fight a fucking prospect for a vacant title and a a big payday. But you wanted to fight Floyd though. Floyd was only going to pay you like three or four million for that fight. You need 10 million to fight Errol Spence? Damn. Sounds like somebody is scared up in this bitch. Sounds like some motherfuckers shook. Man, I'm smelling some pussy around this motherfucker. Is that you, Keith? I smell pussy. Is that you, Thurman? Keith Thurman is pussy. Fight Errol Spence, bro. You know what I'm saying? 2017, we want to see it. It's going down, man. It's going to be a big-ass fucking fight. You know what? Just start talking some shit about Errol Spence, man. Let's see it. You know, come on. Talk that good shit, Keith. Tell that motherfucker. I got an O, and I ain't afraid to let it go. My mama used to beat my ass, so I ain't scared of none of these motherfuckers beating my ass. Talk that shit, man. I want to hear it. That way, when this fight actually happens late next year, when it when it it'll really be a big fucking fight. That is a huge fight. Three belts are already gonna be on the line. And if you get the talking good, man, that'll be pay per view. That is your moment, bro. You gonna be the A side. You'll have two belts and you the bigger name. You can cash in on Errol Spence head. Cash in. He's still green, right? By that time, he probably only have like 22, 23 fights. You know, you'll be moving in on 30 fights. You know what I'm saying? Two undefeated champions in their prime, in their 20s and shit. Because you know you like to fight old motherfuckers, man. Besides Porter, your last five opponents was in their 30s. They mid-30s. And even one was in their 40s. You know, Bundu. You know, um, but you made Bundu a name where Errol Spence can go clean that up since you could knock him out. Where, as Errol Spence said, you was bruised up and swollen after that fight against a 40-year-old. Errol Spence went in there and knocked out a 40-year-old, how a 40-year-old supposed to get knocked out. That's how you do this shit, Keith. You don't start running from 40-year-olds. You know what I'm saying? Letting him scare you because he's doing some feints and coming forward, you're going to take off running when you realize that your power ain't really affecting him too much. And then you got 40-year-olds saying that you fall scared. That's what he said after the fight. He said you were scared. Don't surprise me. Because you scared of Errol Spence. Even when he was a prospect, you could have you know, you could have been a unified champ. You didn't have to fight Danny Garcia. You could have fought a prospect to get that belt. Who knows which belt Floyd would have vacated. He was planning on retiring any motherfucking ways. He could have vacated all of them motherfuckers if he wanted to. That was his last fight of his professional career. He's been retired ever since then. It's been a year. He could have gave you the WBC belt. Put that on the line. WBC would have allowed that shit, man. Floyd gave enough of his life for them to be like, okay, man, if that's how he want to go out, then fuck it. It's just like Floyd tried to pass the torch to Errol Spence, but you was motherfucking scared. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fucking with you. I got a good fucking with you.